Now, opponents of a planned bike route through Kitts Beach are out this morning showing what they fear will be lost if the 12 foot wide bike path is built. With more on this, we're joined by our reporter Jen Palma, who's down at Kitts Beach this morning. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Lynn. That's right. Hundreds of people came out on October 20th even to oppose the way that this has been put through and to have this bike path put in. And to tell us a little bit more about the process and what they're doing today is Howard Kelsey with the Safe Kids Beach Now Coalition. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the thing that concerned us the most uh, was the process. Uh, very little consultation. I represent about a thousand basketball users. I'm personally on these courts about four times a day for four times a week, sorry, for probably 40 years. You have Jim Clive who founded the Kitts Beach Volleyball. They have more than a thousand. He's here every day, all day. And Don Sean Tennis. So we just basically did a quick check with our constituents, 3,000. Not one person knew anything about even the initiative, let alone the survey. And then we walked across the street to Adam Smith and Lynn Kent who represent the Kitts Points residents, about 2,000 people that live in this point and not one there. So big red flag. So then they said, uh, the uh, civic officials said, well, we did a survey. Well, let's see the survey. What was the question? Do you uh, favor safety for your children in the park? Well, that's a totally misleading question. That's like asking, do you want it to be sunny today while we're on the beach? Front end loaded question, another red flag. And then we knew nothing about the route. So today we're drawing it, uh, the attention to the public. We've now had a walk through with the uh, senior officials of the park board and the uh, and the city hall and we now have known what the route is that they've offered they denied that the white lines that a uh, concerned citizen yet to be known thank god for them drew it to our attention and, and said it was not the actual route actually based on what we walked through with the senior officials on tuesday and we're going to do today it's off by about a foot in either direction so that person knew pretty well from the uh, the, the the official map that was the route and there is already a bike lane in place and you're saying they're just going to move it over a bit. That's another concern. There is a bike lane up on Ogden Avenue. If you go to the city website, you'll see the official seaside route. It's actually existing with logos of bikes on the road. When we walked through, I was, I'm not a major biker, so I was even surprised to see there was an actual bike route. So we asked the question, well, why would you be putting a bike route 20 feet away from the existing bike route? And the answer was that the cyclists want better seaside views and better seaside experiences. Well, this, with all due respect, 20 feet is not going to make any difference in your sight line. The other point, uh, Jennifer, is very important is we are 100% supporting bike lanes and cyclists. We just don't think it should be in a ludicrous position that endangers people. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Howard Kelsey. And if you want to come down and see that where the bike proposed bike route will be, uh, you can do that today. 1030 this morning we'll be here. Uh, you can meet the Save Kitts Beach Coalition people at uh, 1030 by the Boathouse. Back to you.